name. She's the co-founder of Oceanside Turkey Trot and race director. Kathy, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for joining us. 16 years ago, inspired to start this turkey trot. Why? We want people to move their feet before they eat. <laughs> That's the best answer and the yes. shortest answer I've ever received. Yes, I love that. Okay, so Kathy, how long is this year's trot? We have a five mile and we have a 5K and then we have a couple of kids races, a one mile and a one fifth mile. Is there one that you uh, find a little more popular than the others? I mean, I'm sure that there is that competitive racing angle, but maybe a bit of a tradition for, for many who, who take part in your turkey trot. I'd, I'd say 80% of our participants are just large families that are getting out there on Thanksgiving morning to move their feet before they eat and just have a, a better start to the day. And of course, we have 70 degree weather here in Oceanside today. It is spectacular. Mm, she's, is she's rubbing it in just I a little know, bit. I know you can't beat that <laughs> weather. Okay, Kathy, so can people walk or is it all running? Oh no, 80% of them like walk jaw. We have about 20% that go go faster than like uh, 15 minute pace. Okay. Hmm. That's yeah, not bad. That's, that's I, could, I could do that. I could do that. <laughs> I just I feel like the climate out there in California sort of yields to like a healthier lifestyle. People like to to work out. But this is the day that we can all all cheat. So uh, <laughs> with the turkey trot, the the money collected, where where does that go to, Kathy? So it goes to the Moving Your Feet Before You Eat Foundation, and it goes to 90 other nonprofits and schools that serve the Oceanside residents here in California. Oh, very nice, very nice. So what other type of events are taking place today? Well, we have live entertainment on the course. We have a costume contest, age group awards. We have a little health and fitness expo. It's a, it's, it keeps the family kind of busy in the morning, but more it's about, I call it a hug fest. The gun goes off and people basically run from one fence to the other and give them a hug and it's a great way to start the day. I mean, how, how's that breeze? Will we, will we feel that nice breeze off the Pacific later this morning as the runners uh, uh, start going or, or is it going to be, I guess, a milder day? I mean, 70 sounds great. Yeah. It's, it's great. There's no doubt. I can feel right now the wind is picking up a little bit. We have, uh, that is going to be a little bit of an issue, but people are having so much fun. It's rained here twice out of the last three years. And so people are so happy to have it not be raining. Hmm. Oh, fantastic. How many participants have signed up this year? We're looking at about 7,500, which is fabulous post COVID, just fabulous. Wow. And I, I want to know who's that supporter next to you. He's been, he's been smiling the entire time and, and, and being a good associate. So this is Peter Weiss. He just finished the Ironman here in Oceanside just a few weeks ago. And uh, you can guys can go ahead and ask him a few questions. Yes, Peter, I, I want to know. I mean, the turkey trot's tough, but an Ironman. Uh, it's no Ironman. Are you running in the trot today? I am. And actually, um, I have been part of the city for quite a while. I'm on the, currently on the Oceanside City Council. And this is a fantastic event for Oceanside and for families. And as my kids were growing up, it was a Thanksgiving tradition that we all would do the turkey trot. We all moved our feet before we eat. Uh, it's a great tradition here in Oceanside. Wow. I love that phrase. I know. Move your feet before you eat. And I mean, it's, it's fantastic weather. Last year, was, were you able to hold the turkey trot or, or no because of the pandemic, Kathy? So what we did was a virtual uh, turkey trot, and we had about 1,700 people that ran their five mile or 5K around the country, and they just sent us pictures. And, you know, it's not that we didn't want COVID to interfere with our, our tradition of running or walking on Thanksgiving Day, and so we didn't let it happen. It was great. Man, well, we're just still looking at some of that video from, from years past, and I'll tell you what, so many people turn out. It's, it's exciting and really nice to have that uh, sense of normalcy this, this year and happy that the weather's cooperating in Oceanside. And we'll let you tell us once again with temperatures in the 70s, yep. it's going to be a nice day for a race, right? It's beautiful. It's a downhill course. The, the views of the ocean along the course and the pier are spectacular and unmatched in the country. I believe it. Sounds fantastic. Well, Kathy and Peter, thank you so much for being on the show this morning, and we hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Take care. Well, they're the bright spots in the day, right? I know.